Hello, in this tutorial I will take you through the basic functions of NCASE 8. Uh, we got the new version, probably you have used NCASE 7 before. Um, um, so I will just take you through some of the new functions. Actually not everything is new here, so it will be uh, more of a recap of what you did in last year. Um, so we start with the home. Um, as soon as you um, open your NCASE, uh, you you are expecting to see a screen like this if you don't see a screen like that which will have recent cases case file pathways and help uh, you need to check your license first whether you have the license key or whether your serve your server is working if you are getting the license from a server anyways i'm expecting that um, you have the license sorted um, now this is our home in case home what you can see here as recent cases all the cases you've been working on will be listed here um, if you need to open a new case file you are looking here what uh, we'll see in a second uh, pathways is a new feature what in case 8 uh, gave us quite useful i will briefly take you through as well and help as always um, you can uh, look for different sort of stuffs on help uh, what i will leave it for you to browse so uh, first of all i will quickly take you through the new case just assuming that you don't have any case yet so uh, to create a case you click on new case there are different templates as you remember you can use um, i will recommend you to use uh, forensic uk for this class but it doesn't matter really if you want to use um, just basic absolutely fine um, you can create uh, all the uh, template stuff as you need but for me i will just select uh, forensic uh, uk you should give a uh, case number case date and time these are generic stuff every case should have a meaningful name um, i will strongly recommend you to have a meaningful name and make it as a practice so whatever the name is for me let's say i'm giving the name as test case anything like that where you want to have the full case path uh, base case folder all of those are fine i believe you remember that um, now evidence cache uh, if you remember our previous stuff when you are working on in case lots of cache will be generated and um, it requires quite a lot of storage as well i will request you to use uh, base case folder for evidence cache at least for this class when you work in the industry you will have a guidance within your organization where you want to have those evidence cache but for me please make sure you take it in this class backup very important as you are working you want to have a, a constant backup of your case but for me please make sure you don't backup if you do backup every 30 minutes it will keep creating huge amount of backup and as our lab has uh, limitation in our storage uh, we need to make sure you are not clicking on backup every 30 seconds so please uncheck this when you go through with all of this process you just click on ok and that will create a case like that i did click on cancel because i already have a case um, to work on so uh, after creating a case you just click on whatever the case name imagine my case name was this i click on cbero and that will open the case what i have created oh that's a problem uh, evidence path could not be found now what happened um, previously i did add an evidence here and obviously i have changed the path therefore it can't find it what i will do um, i have selected this i'm clicking on remove and yes so i have removed that evidence actually uh, this this bring us to the um, next thing what i wanted to show anyways that i wanted to add an evidence here to add an evidence I will go back to this home so remember I was talking about the home at the beginning I will go back to the home again this time 
uh, I want to emphasize on the difference. If I click on back button again, this is the home of n case first screen. You may have five different cases here. Each of these cases will have its own home. So see the difference. This is the home of n case. And now I went inside a case what I have created, and this is the home for this case. When you come to this home, um, first of all, you want to add an evidence. After adding an evidence, you will have the option to browse the evidence, do other things. But at the moment, we don't have any evidence file added here. If you remember, I had the missing path. I just deleted that. So I don't have any evidence added to this case. Therefore, I will click on add evidence. I don't want to go through with all of these options explanation again um, briefly local device when you are trying to add this computer you can do a network preview uh, what I'm interested in is adding an evidence file if you had raw image like DD image then you would click on that smartphone we are not doing smartphone or not doing crossover preview so for time being I will click on add evidence file now here I have two evidence files I will select Cibero image and that has added um, that evidence Cibero uh, but you can see too actually I had another image added before so what I will do I will select this I will remove this one um, just I don't want to work on T Darden image right now this is my evidence image uh, what I wanted to discuss and I wanted to uh, talk about uh, now uh, going back to the home again mm, this is just adding the image after I added adding the image you can always click on this and you can review the evidence as you did before so what I will do um, I will click on home button again and I will go get back and this is my home for this case this was the case and this is my home um, previously I did click on add evidence because I had to add the evidence now if I wanted to open the evidence check anything else I will simply click on browse evidence browse evidence will be my button this time to go to that screen okay. now going back to the very first home again this was our first home where we started, which is in case home. Uh, so far, we saw recent cases. We saw how we can open a case or we can create a case. Now, very briefly, I want to show you this function, pathways. Many times you start an investigation and you are not sure what to do after what. Pathway is just um, a brief instruction for you um, what you can do afterward for example according to in case they will suggest you to create a new case first then you add the evidence you can audit the drive space obviously any investigation you start with you should always determine the time zone um, apply the hash library so that you can check uh, different files just by using hash value um, once after that you do a full evidence processing how you do the evidence processing we will see it in next uh, tutorial uh, once you do the evidence processing then you can simply filter all the pictures filter all the documents just one click will allow you to go through with maybe hundreds of thousands of pictures what you may have within your evidence file uh, so pathways are actually just a brief guideline for you to uh, go through with the investigation do you have to follow that not at all you will do your investigation based on your judgment your requirements but if you are not sure about what to do after what maybe pathway will be quite useful feature for you so uh, what we have started with this uh, tutorial is we just wanted to um, introduce ourselves with uh, NCase 8 home. So this is NCase 8 home, quite neat and clean new. 
and um, and then we have created a case uh, you can open a case if you do have any and you can use the pathways before uh, i finish this tutorial i will show you one more feature so after you have created a case now i can simply open that case what you can do um, when you are working on a case uh, time to time you want to create a case backup but what i think maybe you will find more useful in this class is create a case package if you create a case package and if you click on case archive see on right hand side everything has been selected what are those all record items evidence files primary evidence cache everything will be selected and you select wherever you want to save it for now what case package will do will put all the requirement required bits and pieces for this case including your evidence file will put it into one folder then you can copy that folder um, in your mirror stick hard drive wherever you go if that pc does have a suitable end case version you can simply open on one file and you can start working on your case so case package will be very useful feature especially when you are sharing the case between different people let's say you have done x amount of the case investigation now you want other people to check your work or give some opinion on that in that case you just come to this case package um, click on archive so that you take everything here just click on create it will take some time and it will create a folder it will create everything it will copy everything within that folder and you can simply copy that folder um, across different devices wherever you need it to so to create a case package you open your case click on case and create case package so that will be everything for this tutorial thank you i will see you on next tutorial